overcompensate with volume. Make people listen to you by having your, or your voice swallow up the room with command. So if you feel inadequate, if you feel like, you know, you see a lot of people, you feel like shriveling, your shoulders even start to do this. Practice before. Practice, practice, even watch very confident speakers. Watch how their body language is, watch how their mannerisms are. It's important to speak out. Otherwise, it's about communication, it's about presenting. And if we don't have that confidence to command a room, then that communication, that projecting isn't there. So that means we're not winning. All right, guys, it's your breakfast show. And now we're coming to the next part of the show where we love to share with you a powerful nugget to add to you for you to go out there and do what you need to do. Have we got like another background that's like, like, a, like a smoother? I, I don't know what it is. There's one that always gets played at this bit that, that I can't. Yeah, I think yeah, that's the one. Is this the it's one? the yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. yeah like, I haven't forgot my, my tricks with you, man. So why don't you use them? Come on, it must be spontaneous. It's my last week. My last day as well. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys. So this is really important stuff, all right? Because many times, especially if we're going to go out there and create something, we need to present ourselves. We need to communicate. And this is information coming from Business Insider. Uh, and it's, and they go on to say that not all leaders are great communicators. And not all great communicators are leaders. But if you truly want to be a leader, why take any chances? Pull out all the stops, learn to conquer your fear of public speaking and make pitches and presentations that bring results. It's not impossible, but we're just gonna give you a nice simple guide to help you get started. So first one is know your subject. There is nothing more embarrassing than standing in front of a small group of venture investors or an audience of thousands and not grasping your topic with sufficient depth and authenticity. Better you remain in your seat or yield the podium to someone else than to reveal your ignorance. Don't try to impress the audience with something you do not know. I'll tell you a secret. Knowing your topic is half the battle. If you know your subject, you will be accepted by the audience and you will feel a surge of confidence. Knowledge gives you authority. Your audience wants you to be smarter and know more than they do. Otherwise, they may get up and leave. All right. And this is a huge thing, um, especially because, you know, we have to choose our craft. We have to know our craft, right? If you're going to pitch some, something to someone, know your craft. I always have this thing that you can't study something enough. You know, we have guests. You have to study your guests. If you, you're going to a company, you have to study the company. We have to know our subject matter. It's a deep thing. Like, I think I told you on the breakfast show that I study communication. I study communication because that's part of my craft. Has anyone told me to? No, but I realize that I have to be mindful to articulate my words well if I want to be an effective communicating presenter. And I tell you, I realize my imperfections. Maybe you don't, but I do. Um, however, we keep working and developing it. So know your subject, know your craft. Number two. Number two, practice. You all know those Q&A sessions you have been a part of. Well, set one up for yourself. Ask yourself the toughest and meanest questions you can think of. Don't go soft. Don't let yourself off easy. Be brutal. Be merciless. Grade yourself. Be your own adversary. Shut the door to your office where no one can hear you and give yourself a dreading on the subject you will present. Then if you do not know the answers to these questions, find them. Absolutely. And you know, and uh, yeah, go on. There's actually something there about uh, the president. Re yes. Re in the White House, President uh, Reagan. Reagan would drill for hours practicing his answers to anticipate questions delivered by surrogates who stood. S surrogates. In, surrogates, thank you. Who stood, in for, who stood in for tough and even hostile journalists. Accomplished speakers pra um, practice. Speaking does not come easy to anyone. All right. Accomplished speakers practice. So I know sometimes you can kind of reconstruct it in your head if you've got that 
gift, but nothing's better than being able to practice before the actual presentation. You can't do it enough. I mean, even if you have to film yourself, you film yourself, you know, because we've got technology now. If you had to use audio, you record your audio, but you have to reflect and be critical of yourself. Number three, take a voice lesson. I know, right? It says here, make a recording of yourself. Listen to it. Horrors. Few people like the sound of their voice. And as a friend of mine says, if you don't like the sound of your voice, think of all those people who have to listen to you and what they have to endure. Ah, wow. <laughs> so that comes again to hearing your voice. All right. Here's a news flash. You can change your voice. It's timber, depth, likableness. All you need to do is a few simple things. Learn how to breathe and where to move the sound from. Musical tips help with phrasing and rounding and pausing. Deep tones result in confidence from the audience and more listenable. So you kind of understand now kind of what I do. All right. Uh, so go for deeper tones. They convey power. Pause while speaking and let the thoughts settle in. I caught you did there, you know. You caught it. Yeah, I caught it. Even the most mundane topics can be conveyed with a bit of drama. And I think you see a lot of drama on The Breakfast Show, right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, go on, next one. Number four. And where's my back and try, man? It's here. I'm not hearing nothing. You make my party dry. No, no, no. Wait, okay, let me sweat out. Let me sweat out. Let me sweat out. Hey, I'm just kidding. Click, click, click. Okay, okay that's it. Yeah, we are rolling now. Go, go right. ahead. Go ahead. You're doing well. Number four, taking an acting lesson. Mm. I'm not asking you to become an actor. I just want you to learn how to stand, move, pause and command the room okay now emphasize that command the room you have you can't let that word slip you cannot let that word slip you have to acknowledge that word command the room that's what this is about all right go ahead taking a lesson or two helps shed self-consciousness budof underline that yeah regan who i had the opportunity to, to walk alongside did you know hercules i'm not kidding <laughs> had a masterful glide in this step that conveyed power and mastery mm. part of this was learned on movie sets and sound stages and part was natural most people with a little coaching can pick up some of these skills even a little training goes a long way absolutely i make speeches and presentations almost once a week and i train others to talk but i still take lessons in public speaking from my trained coach be kind to your listeners do not as a general rule use your hands during a presentation if you do use them only to stress an important point mm. or raise your arms to physically embrace the audience let the words do the work and not your hands okay that's very very strong that, that's like a skill i'm going to take uh, but, but i think also by the way you know when you're speaking check your camera because i think like the arm thing of the mic is like in your eye just thought i'd share that with you brother presentation you. skills all right and um yeah so i think this is a good one because we can overdo certain things that we know oh thank you we can overdo certain things that we know so it's it's good to be mindful about that as well now number five is speak out almost any child trained to speak has been told to project the people in the back of the room most of the people who serve on panels with with uh, with me must have forgotten they get that advice because they invariably swallow half of their words and they do not generally project do you want to be heard 50 percent of by 50 percent of the people in the audience uh, have any sort of or if you want to be heard by anybody who have any sort of hearing loss speak to them overcompensate with volume make people listen to you by having your or your voice swallow up the room with command so if you feel inadequate if you feel like you know you see a lot of people you feel like shriveling your shoulders even start to do this practice before practice practice even watch very confident speakers watch how their body language is watch how their mannerisms are it's important to speak out otherwise it's about communication it's about presenting and if we don't have that confidence to command a room then that communication that projecting isn't there so that means we're not winning if that makes sense guys so it's really important to to, to be careful about that be mindful go ahead hercules yes number six be a storyteller Regan talked in parables and told stories in all the time to illustrate his points. Okay, so you're not a Regan. Doesn't matter. Always start your presentation by saying, I want to tell you a little story. It might be about your bus ride to work. It might be about your baby screaming last night. It might be about a sortie you flew over Iran. 
People might not remember what you said in your speech, but they will remember your stories. Mm. And yes, it's fine to make them up as long as you're not telling untruths, but about specific people or events. Mm -hmm. Stories are illustrations and paintings of points. Unless you think you are like Bob Hope or Jerry uh, Slimfield, hmm. do not use humor or jokes. Most <laughs> people do it poorly and there's nothing worse than telling a bad joke <laughs> or telling a good a good joke badly. No, at that, that, this point, I'm not, that is deep because it's like you're getting your audience captivated mm. and it's like you're bringing their attention to you. Mm -hmm. So it's like when you're telling a story, it's like, whoa, I want to find out what happens at the end. Yeah. So when you make your point, yeah, it's like, whoa. And how you can use it to, as an illustration. Yeah, this is deep. Yeah, and you know what, guys? I, and I'll be honest, honest and sincere with you. I don't see myself as a funny person, all right? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, you don't see yourself as a funny person? I don't see myself. No, seriously. I don't. When I think of myself, I don't think of myself as a funny person. I don't, I don't know why. Um, so what I do is I generally speaking, I if I try to be funny, I, I don't even know how to describe it. But what I'm saying is, is when that you, when you try to do it, it's, it's a it's a F, it's a flop. It's thanks. an L. Thank you. Thank you very much. But when you're being natural, it works. Um, but what I'm saying is, is that this whole thing about storytelling and turning it into a joke, sometimes you, you sometimes you don't need to tell a joke. Sometimes we see people who are so good at telling jokes that you're like, yeah, I'm going to try and use that one. But if you are if you don't know how to deliver it as a joke, then it won't work. Do so, you remember that joke I said in the office once? Which one? About the, the dog? No, no, about the dog. That's, 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 a story, dog. that's a story. Yeah. Uh, what's it called? What, what console does a Frenchman play? Famicom? We. Oui. You're so ridiculous and crazy. <laughs> okay. But, <laughs> I like the pause as well. Did you see the pause? All right, because he's, he's practiced that one. But like sometimes to convey your message, if you're going to deliver a story, just deliver the story. Don't try to force a joke if it's not natural. But also, you know, if you practice and you feel confident and you have that personality type or you can deliver it well, go ahead, be bold. And sometimes if, if you drop a joke and it's not funny, even just recognizing that, you know what, I... Okay, that was me telling a bad joke <laughs> and move on. All right, so it's really important. Now, number seven is be yourself. More important than anything else is to be real and to know yourself. If you are not, your flaws will be magnified by your presentation. Do not boast. Avoid personal pronouns. Be magnanimous. Thank of thank other people, including your host or introducer. Be humble, and even if you are a poor presenter, people will miraculously choose your idea over others just because you seem real and honest to them. Sometimes it is, it is even good to say you are nervous and would appreciate the patience of the audience. Do not cross the line, however, into the space of ignorance and boredom. That will not be valued by your listeners. Most important of all, love your audience. Be genuinely glad to be there and they will return the favor. All right. And on that note, those are the seven uh, tips uh, to be uh, becoming an excellent presenter. So just to recap, number one, know your subject. Number two, Hercules. Number two is, sorry, um, I was quick. Practice. Number three, take voice lessons. Number four, take an accent, uh, take acting lessons. All right. Number five, speak out. Number six, be a storyteller. And number seven, be yourself. OK. And this is something that you cultivate in life. You cultivate with time. We're going to need these tools, guys, because I'll October's coming and we're going to go in. We're doing the 100 tomorrow. days tomorrow, 100 days of sewing. I've got here my referral list. I've made a list of those who I need to contact for certain things. I've got different types of lists because there's different types of communications for different peoples. I don't know if you've got your books and your things organized so you can activate it and make those communication calls. Bear these things in mind. Let's go and work this thing because it's going to be a powerful and robust October. I'm telling you guys, if you're taking this on board, you ain't going to come out of October the way you start. Started. Now, I'm going to literally put up the WhatsApp line. So if you uh, wanted to catch these notes, uh, we could send a link to you, which is plus 4475 7979 6845. That's the breakfast show WhatsApp line. Yep. Yeah. Um, Mary just said, Hey, Robert, new flash. You are funny, laughing her way off. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. So you know, you're, you're too kind. I, I, I funny being like 
it's a compliment but it's good to be versatile right yes yes all right so guys this is it i've put the whatsapp line there if you would like to um have the notes on this or the link to this we'll send it to you but now the show's come to an end and hercules it's been great having you with us on the breakfast show all this time yeah it's now it's my time to fly off yes i know he's going to be tra- transporting himself um eva says useful tools thank you i mean look you came i mean we, we started the breakfast show i think it was november 2017 you joined us in uh, march 2019 2019 you joined us on the show and it's been such a pleasure having you on the show i think you're the only sound guy that i actually let start the show <laughs> literally you're the only sound guy let's start the show like literally like you know yeah, yeah so and I think most of you who are faithful at Breakfast Show Legends would have noticed that that's why there's only a Hercules hour alright because um, <laughs> no other hour um, but you know it's been a pleasure having you on the show we really value you value your presence and we do wish you well on your future endeavours yeah me and all the Breakfast Show family ain't that right everybody ain't that right yeah put it in the live chat one minute before it you know reaches you online yeah so I'm going to keep talking for like 53 seconds all right but yeah so i mean like so how's it been for you being on a breakfast show all this time it's been learning you know um i can say that i have gained skills learned skills and i have the breakfast show has been uh, like how can i say this when i joined i can say this it's been a bit of sacrifice to wake up to be here in the morning but (laughs) but you it's about being here and 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 enjoying the vibe enjoying what what's going to happen like every day is something different Mm. something new you know monday you know it's that day to recap everything that happened the weekend tuesday we have someone comes and give us tips so that we can take their golden nuggets and we can apply to ourselves Mm. wednesday you know we have the the book duo um Diamond Dynamite duo and we got, we're learning so in the breakfast show it's not just that okay I'm just coming to operate but it's, you're coming but you're gaining something for yourself as well mm. and it's also that it's helped me with my present, um, presentation skills as well mm-hmm. when you think you got it but it's like no you don't there's some things that you have to work on the way you speak the way you talk or the pace that you do so when you like you take it and you, you do something else it's like rah Mm. This, this is where the, I learned it from the breakfast show that's it that's it and I think we're all learning uh, from the breakfast show we're all developing uh, with all the things that have been orchestrated here and I think it's phenomenal so look you're going to be missed guys it's been a pleasure to be with you for two years even though um, COVID did take us away for a bit but you know being the breakfast show has been fun with you guys some of you guys are you, you're very like I can see the breakfast show is very entertaining with you guys without you guys there's no breakfast show so you guys keep the show going keep the show flowing and you know as it's, as, as, as it's a global international show everything we do is because the show works because you guys make it fun as well your comments your reactions help the show keeps its liveliness keeps the vibe um, oh, over wow, Miss, Friday Miss Judy's not playing you know yep she says also called where are you going Hercules can, you, can the lady cook uh, what's it called? Um, how can I say it? Victoria says, Oh gosh, she's getting married. Cheers. Uh, what's it called? Thanks for your faith in the circle. from Janet. And um, by the way, Judy, my girl can cook. She's an excellent cooker. She's Ghanaian, isn't it? No, she's not Ghanaian. She's Angolan. Oh, okay. Pa, my girl. Whoa, sorry. Sorry, dude. Whoa, you go step on the table. What's going on with that? What's going on with that, man? I'm, I'm sipping the tongue. I'm sorry. No, they say she's some God, innit? She's okay. Spanish Portuguese, innit? Okay, let's just make October strong. Greet this guy farewell and let's go and create our own stories. Victoria says, Oh gosh, he's getting married. Cheers. <laughs> Absolutely. God bless him. All right, guys. Anyway, thank you, Sha- uh, um, Hercules, for everything. And thank you, dear listeners, for being absolutely awesome. This is your breakfast show. We wish you a powerful and robust bus Thursday. Wherever you are in the globe, start your morning right. Monday to Friday, from 6.30 a.m. to 8 a.m. UK time. Join Robert Ashete and Hercules, your man of sound. Connect online Monday to Friday with special guests for inspiration, motivation to start your morning right. Music, banter, fun and laughter. Connect when you start your mornings with The Breakfast Show. Only on libertyradio.co.uk. That's right, The Breakfast Show is back. libertyradio.co.uk from 6.30am.